one. All right, uh, also infrastructure, a real deal with these winter storms. Thousands of power customers without electricity today in Texas because of winter storm Remus. 500 students sent home from school yesterday after weather knocked out power to more than 3,000 homes. In Waterbury, uh, Connecticut, freezing rain on power lines knocked out power in Tennessee to 1,600 customers in New Hanover and Brunswick counties. Now, our Rick Adams is looking and bringing to you this morning some new technology that could make power outages like that list we just read you a thing of the past. Our power grid was built in the 20th century, so it's getting old, and the weather isn't kind to it either. Freezing rain or any ice in excess of a quarter of an inch in diameter causes major headaches and wreaks havoc on our system. It weighs down lines, it weighs down tree limbs, and causes widespread outages. And when the power goes out, it's not only an expensive operation finding where the outages are, but it can also be a dangerous mission for the repair crew. Treacherous road conditions, whiteout conditions, getting to the site and just enduring that. You could walk for a half an hour before you find where the fault is and re-energize the line. Hmm. Now, if only there was a piece of technology that could help you find exactly where the power outage is. And there is. This sensor, created by Tollgrade, is about the size of a loaf of bread, weighs less than five pounds, and is clamped directly to the grid cables. A truly smart device that powers itself inductively, like, say, a toothbrush charger, and constantly monitors the flow of electricity, even calling you up if there's a problem. It's crunching numbers, looking at waveforms, comparing them to events that we've already captured in the past, and then it's able to categorize what's actually happening out on the distribution grid. By analyzing the data, it's possible to even predict when and where the next outage will happen, or at least get to the outage faster. We had an instance in a recent snowstorm up in New England where the outage went out for five hours, where it would have gone out for 20 hours had we not been there. And you, you figure what that does for people's lives and the businesses. So making the power grid smarter will only be a good thing for all of us. If you could just increase the efficiency of the grid by 5%, it's equivalent of taking 53 million cars off the road. Better for the climate and power to the people. Now that's what I call a smart power grid. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel. Technology. All right, Rick, so there's some light at the end of the tunnel for our antique power grid. Now let's work on the rest of it. We've got the water infrastructure that is too old, and we've got the rail system that's just too old as well. Let's see if we can get some technology into all these things. And it is headline.